After completing the introduction to VB topic, now we will start with working with controls. We will cover each and every control which is useful to develop our application. First control is label. Just double click on any of the control to place it on a form. The use of label is, it is used to display read-only information to the user. A person who will be operating our software is the user. So to display a message to that particular person, we have to use a label control here. Now which are the important properties related to label? As we have seen. A property box is a collection of characteristics related to controls. So to change the name of a label or to change the size or color of the label, we have to sum, we have to set some properties of this control. So to open a property box for label, right click on this control, move to properties. See here, you can get a property box by this shortcut way or just press F4 key from a keyboard or use a property window button which is available on a standard toolbar. So these are the methods to open a property window. Related to label the properties are first caption to change the name of a by default control that is label. Suppose school mark sheet the next control is alignment see here as per the box size if you require to move the school mark sheet text to center of this box just move to alignment property set the alignment center so there are left right and center alignments see here the next is appearance. By default, 13D is activated. To change it, zero flat. See, a white patch color will be displayed. The next is auto size. As per the box size, see here, the text is aligned at the center of this box, but you require to change the size of a box as per the text. So just move to auto size and set it to true. Automatically it will adjust as per the text size. Next is back color. Press on arrow, move to palette and apply a suitable color. See here. To remove the back color, back style we can use. Just set it to transparent. If you press on opaque, a color will display it again. To apply a border, move to border style and select a fixed single border. See, it decides you will get a border. We have seen the caption to change the name of an existing text. Next is font property. To change the size and font styles of a label or any control, you can just move to font property, select a font style, bold italics, size, if you want to underline, click here for underline, press OK. See all the settings has been applied to that label. To change the four color, move to four color, once again click on arrow, move to palette and set a suitable color. See here. So we have seen the properties related to label. To see the preview of a form after completing the designing, just click on start button or press F5 function key from keyboard. See, this is a read-only information to the user. A user can't type it. 
in this particular control so after completing the form layout if you want to display the preview just click on start button the next control is text box text box is used to provide read and write information to the user means a user can type also and read it see here to change the name of label to move to caption suppose roll number now the properties of text box are first one is text as there is a caption under label here a text property is there to remove this text just select it and press delete as we have to feed the different roll numbers here so remove the by default text just by moving to text property you can apply these settings to text box also that is back color appearance alignment as we have seen with label but apart from that some extra properties are there related to text box see here the first property is locked by default all the controls that is text box or combo box locked property is set to false means we can type it easily under this box see any number can be typed inside text box but as you make this property to true means you are not allowing to type the text inside this box see we can't type it now so this is the use of locked property so we will just change it to false the next is max length by default the length of a string or numbers if you type here in this is maximum set to 32767 but you require only 3 digits to be entered inside this text box pre run the program see it will not allowed more than 3 digits means only up to 999 is allowed fourth digit will not ex accepted so we have seen locked max length ne next property is multi line suppose if you want to type more than one line inside this text box some of the fields we require in a paragraph style means more than line one line we have to type for that purpose we can set a multi line property to true see here if you notice under roll number press enter it will not accept the characters or numbers on a second line but after setting the multi line property it will easily accept the text on more than one line now as we have set a multi line property to true then scroll bars property can be applied to this text box to read the text from both the sides horizontal and vertical just set the scroll bar property to both see here a graphical presentation will be applied see now you can easily read your text through scroll bars also so these were the properties which are important related to text box so in vb instead of writing a code we can do a good job through properties also the next control we will see now command button command button is used to write a code as per a specified event just note it down what is an event event is an action to be performed 
after some specific task see here the properties of command button are first caption suppose you type exit the next property if you see here is back color just move to back color palette select the suitable color but you will notice here that a color has been not applied to that button this is just because as we have to move to style property and convert it to graphical after setting graphical only the colors and pictures will be displayed on command buttons to insert a picture just move to picture property click on folder selection button move to particular folder suppose visual studio under program files visual studio folder common graphics suppose bitmaps toolbar windows 95 just we will take one of the picture file from here suppose see here open see a picture has been added to the command button so related to command button the properties are back color picture style and the next is tooltip text if you enter a text inside caption it will displayed directly on a command button but see here on this standard toolbar if you move the mouse you will have a help means no caption has been added to this button but a tool tip has been added in the same way if you just remove this text from here and type the tool tip text exit word inside tool tip text now if you move the mouse on a button after executing the program running the program see you will get a tool tip on this button if you press the mouse on this button now it should close the form for that purpose we have to write a code as the definition itself says command button is usually used to write a code so just double click on this button to move into a code window yeah we have just entered in a code window for the first time so just have an introduction this private sub is the opening of a body and end sub is the closing of a bo body the command one is a control name each and every control so just to move on a object window window once again click on view object now here you can see the name property see on text one we have clicked so by default name of this text box is text one the next is text two for this command one so these names are used at the time of coding if you change here suppose cmd exit so this name will be displayed under a code window so this is very much important for a program for a programmer to change the names as it will display a meaningful name for a particular control here this is not specific that this code will be for exit as the name is command 1 but here you will notice that command exit click so for exit we will just see a code unload me to come out from a form in vb we have to write unload me to come out from complete project we will write end we will just see by running the program see here if you press till now we were pressing on close button which is a built in button provided on a title bar but if you cl cl click here on this button see a form has been closed just move to object window view object so we have seen three controls under this video that is label text box and command button with their properties use